good to have everybody here tonight. IPSD is code for you know what. And I'll give you a little hint. It has to do with something made of briar. And you fill it with a leaf. And you light it. And we're going to get started in a couple minutes when we get to the magic number tonight. So welcome to 2020 IPSD Live Podcast. We did it last year. We're doing it tonight. Brought to you by TobaccoPipes.com. Make sure to visit them tonight and in the next week for your pipe pipe tobacco needs. Tonight's uh, broadcast is actually going to be featuring rat trays. Two rat trays pipes. What about these? I have two of them. It's kind of like a Sherlock Holmes type of one. But not a real hardcore bend in it, so it's not a, what do they call them, chin hangers? Where it's, I have a Peterson that literally just goes right down my chin. This one sticks out just a little bit. I'll give you a little look. And then this one here, this is a, this is from uh, Tobacco Pipes. Dot com. Small, very small. And I'll give you, I'm going to give you a, uh, a size comparison so you can see. Let me talk to the DJ, tell him to turn down the music. There we go. Good. Hey, welcome to IPSD 2020. Glad to have you here. You know, there's a lot of choices that you had tonight, but you chose to be here. And that's kind of cool. I appreciate that. It's freezing outside. I think it's about 27 degrees in Philadelphia. So I'm all layered up. And I will give you an idea in just a little bit of why I have, why I'm dressed the way that I am. Might seem silly to some, but it'll make sense in a little bit. It's good to have you. Where's everybody coming from tonight? Tell me where you're coming from. T21 Surfer is the Blue Wrench for tonight. Remember, God forgives, but the Blue Wrench doesn't. Uh, 10 degrees in Michigan. Yeah. It, wouldn't it be great if IPSD was actually, was actually in the summertime, where we could sit out in decks and patios and parks and pavilions outside, but it's, um, I don't know who started it. I don't know what the history is. Maybe somebody can send me something about the history of it. But here's one thing. We have 100 people online right now watching this live, the 2020 IPSD live pipecast brought to you by TobaccoPipes.com, who provided the pipes for tonight's broadcast, a rat trays pipe. You know, I have Savinelli's, Peterson's, Missouri Meerschaum, Alphas, tons of custom pipes, and I really like, I enjoy my collection. But when I was introduced to rat trays pipes from tobaccopipes.com, you think like, all right, I mean, can you beat the best? Can you beat Savinelli's and Peterson's? I'm telling you, Rattrays has Peterson and Savinelli on the run. Take my word for it. I love this. I'm going to fire up, and I hope you're getting ready to fire up with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this. Tonight, tonight, I'm wearing a nightcap. Like a real nightcap. This is like a real flannel nightcap. Like in A Christmas Carol, Scrooge. As in a night before Christmas and all through the house. How'd that line go? 
with mom in her kerchief and I in my cap, we all settled down for a long winter's nap. Okay. I'm wearing a nightcap. I'm having a nightcap. And you know where I'm going with this, don't you? And I'm smoking Dunhill nightcap and a rat trace pipe. certainly is a great night for a nap, isn't it? It's colder than your heart. It's colder than my ex-wife's heart. That's pretty cold. Luke is with us from Japan. Excellent. Let me go right to the... Ah, you recently started with uh, the guy with brand. Excellent, Jack. Good. Excellent on what uh, uh, you're undecided on what style to get. Not to kill the buzz, but what's the secret to not becoming spiteful after a bad breakup? Pipes. Pipes from TobaccoPipes.com. India. It's 6.43 in the morning. Going to have a pipe session at evening during. Ah, excellent. Good. Yeah, visit visit our sponsors tonight. They were kind enough to sponsor, and they they provided this, and this is wonderful. This is wonderful. I get some great deals from them, and I find products there that I can't find anywhere else. What are your for the twenty twenty IPSD? What are your favorite pipes and tobaccos tonight? As you as if you're just joining. I am wearing a nightcap, having a nightcap, and this is rum, while I'm smoking nightcap in a rat trace pipe. Advice to achieve patience. Grow a beard. I always say that grow a beard. In order, it, the most patient, I tell women this all the time, you want a patient man, look for a man who's got a big beard. Because he didn't get he didn't get that beard from being impulsive at all. Greetings from the Isle of Vikings in the far north. Ah, very good. We have a truly an international audience tonight, and I'm so happy to see everybody here. What's my advice on growing a beard? I have one piece of advice. Don't shave. A custom cob with Cornell and Deal Afternoon Delight. That is wonderful. That's good. Chile, South America. <laughs> Phil B says, grow a beard or have children. That'll teach you. Yeah. I would say growing a beard is much easier than having children, but children are a tremendous blessing. Let it grow and let it flow. Absolutely. Greetings from the South, Adelaide, Australia, down under. Wonderful. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Hello from Colorado. Favorite whiskey. You guys are going to think I'm crazy. I had a guy... As you guys know, my trade is I cut hair. And I had a guy, uh, people bring me bottles all the time. Like I, this, the rum that I'm drinking tonight is this Zaya rum. You can't see it because it's it's reversed. This Zaya rum, which is from where? It's aged 16 years. Zaya, it's from Trinidad and Tobago. Someone brought me that. And then somebody brought me some Evan Williams once. And I had no idea what Evan Williams was. And Evan Williams, Kentucky bourbon. All right. Now you go into the liquor store. It's on the bottom shelf. On the top shelf is Maker's Mark and all the big ones. I had no idea that this was a quote unquote bottom shelf. 
And I took it home and I poured some, drank it, knowing nothing about it. And I absolutely loved it. Loved it. Now, this big dog right here, this big old bottle here, uh, $22, something like that. And I love it. And I could spend like that right there. If this was Maker's Mark, how much would it be for the big bottle of Maker's Mark? How much would it be? Someone tell me. You already know what it would be. I like Evan Williams. I was given a bottle of it, and I just keep buying it now. I truly do like it. San Antonio in the house. Michigan. Got good haircuts from Jerry's Hairport over 50 years of cutting hairs. That's awesome, man. A beard is cheaper than children. It sure is. Lane. Lane 1Q to Cobb. Excellent. A beard. <laughs> Three children, Calderon says. <laughs> Uh, yeah, patience will come shortly. Yes. Uh, Luke, you're working your way through Japanese whiskeys. I've never had a Japanese whiskey ever, but I've, I've heard they're very good. Uh, I still remember and use your tip to shaping a perfect beard, although I won't need it in the army. Well, thank you for your service. I appreciate that. Bamboo rum, $29. Walmart. See, I'm in Pennsylvania where we don't have alcohol in Walmart. But, yeah, um, I guess at my secondary home, I will be shopping at Walmart in Florida. BB is with us, Four Roses. Oh, BB, I love Four Roses. And I do like Woodford. As a matter of fact, uh, both of those were given as gifts to me. And Four Roses, I remember when I was a kid, I remember my dad drinking Four Roses when I was a kid and tasting it. Like, I come from a generation where you would say, Dad, can I have a sip? And your father would give you a drink. You take a little bit of sip and you go, that's nasty. And then when you get older, you kind of like it. <coughs> the issue today is if you give a kid alcohol, you're going to jail. That's just That's just the name of the game. But I do love Four Roses. It has a classic taste. For those that are just joining the 2020 IPSD, this is a rat race pipe. I am wearing a nightcap. I'm having a nightcap of rum, and I'm smoking nightcap. Tonight's pipe cast is brought to you by TobaccoPipes.com the kind gentleman that made this possible. No drinks, sober. That's a good thing. Ah, thank you for the super chat. That's good. Opinions on scotch and Irish whiskey. I think they're all good. Ah, T21 Surfer, my brother's having Evan Williams eggnog. Good. Pittsburgh. Having Esoterica Pembroke in a Mark uh, Rockin, I guess. That's how you say that. Excellent. Not a fan of Maker's Mark. Way too floral. Yeah. Yeah, there's one called Bastille, which is very floral. I tend to like the smokier ones. Uh, believe it or not, I really like Jack Daniels. I like the smokiness. I like that smoky, oaky flavor. And it's perfect when you're pairing it with a pipe as well, especially like a Latakia blend. Like maybe something like Nightcap would be wonderful. Buffalo Trace. Yes, 50 to 100. Oh, Mark Twain. Okay, gotcha. Ken says, my mother's bourbon-soaked uh, Christmas fruit cakes were the best. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You know, one of those secrets is you can buy just like a cheap fruit cake at Walmart. And then soak it with whiskey or soak it with rum overnight. And it makes for a marvelous dessert for the next day. Do I like rye? Yes. And bullet rye is one, one of the go-tos. Yes. Yeah. You got to realize that, you see, my trade is I cut hair. I cut hair. And uh, people will get their hair cut. 
they usually give me a tip and then they always have a little surprise bottle for me. So I have I have more alcohol than you can ever imagine. So a lot of it obviously is used for entertaining and for guests because there's no way I could possibly drink everything that people bring me. Parents used to make wine when my sister and I were kids and we go to taste it. Yeah, pipe smoker cowboy Chris. I love homemade wine. I like the Johnny Walker series. Kenneth. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for the super chat. That's much appreciated. Yeah, thank you for the super chats. What are my thoughts on white Russian as a beverage? I always liked it. It's good. There are no foods or alcohols that I don't like. And there really is no, um, there's no pipe tobaccos that I don't like. I've tried so many things. And I believe someone might say, well, I don't like this or that. I think if you pair it properly, smoke it during a the proper season, you know, for instance, um, when it's cold out. Right now it's freezing. I mean, it's 27, 25 degrees here in the Philadelphia area. I'm liking the more Latakia, the more English blends in the cold weather. I like a Virginia and a Burley when the weather is more moderate. In the summertime, uh, I'm a burly guy. But winter, how perfect for an English blend. Bon Bons with Tennessee whiskey, then smoke my pipe. Fantastic. You ordered your first Morgan pipe from Tobacco Pipes. Website, couldn't pass up the discount. Hey, George, when will you be on Jesse Lee Peterson's show? I was talking to his producers last week. I don't know when I'm going to be on. I'm not sure. I will be on the Jesse Lee Peterson show. I will not be on the Fallen State. And from what I understand, um, he has watched my program before, so that's kind of cool. We're not doing any teaching tonight. We're just shooting the breeze here, talking about pipes on IPSD, 2020 IPSD. You used to drink nothing but tequila. You're two years sober and don't miss it. CBD vape is your new thing, THC free. That's good, man. Stay strong, be strong. <laughs> Jake, you're one of the OGs. You'll be with it, all right. One of these days, we'll be clinking a, a whiskey glass and toasting with a pipe someday. Who knows, right? Have I tried sake? Yes. What do I think of semen retention? I did it for a long time. It's okay. I, I think it's highly overrated, I think. Crown Royal? Okay, good. You've been known to eat the worm out of tequila after sex. Gosh. After the whole bottle of tequila, that, that'd be the only way that I'm eating a worm. Why do I smoke? I don't inhale, I puff. It's relaxing, it's fun. It builds bonds with other people. So we have someone that's getting their messages deleted. Educational channel. Haven't seen you smoking a pipe recently. Love the content. Yes. Favorite pipe tobacco at the moment. Right now, Nightcap. Dunhill Nightcap. Yeah. Happy IPSD. Godspeed. Alex, let me toast you with my pipe. There we go. The band hammer is swift tonight. Ah, Lucas says, let's celebrate sanity, clarity, and reason. Thank you, George, for everything. Lucas, 
You've been around a long time. You're like one of the OGs. Thank you for the super chat. That's much appreciated. Greetings from England. Wow, the UK is with us tonight in the house. Fantastic. I hope everyone has their rat trays pipe tonight. If you don't have a rat trays pipe from tobaccopipes.com, check them out. It's a great company run by a couple guys that are interested in men's issues, masculinity, family, being fathers, being husbands, patriarchs, leaders of their family, leaders of their community. Yeah. Yes, I've had uh, the Davidoff English mixture. I have. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought Santa Claus could be sexy. Then I saw you in your nightcap. Yeah. Well, think about it. I'm wearing a nightcap. I'm sipping on a nightcap, and I'm smoking nightcap in a Rattray's bent briar. I like this thing, man. I like it because it's light. A lot of times when you have like like a big pipe, this is a. Let me just show you how big it is. Let me just find a something where you might know what the. Uh, uh, okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is a country gentleman right here. Country gentleman pipe. Your typical. Missouri Meerschaum country, country Gentleman. I like it. Good pipe. This is the rat trays. I'll, let me put them side by side so you can see them. See that? The rat trays is huge. It's monstrous. But I do have big pipes. But some of the big pipes that I've had, they're hard to clench. You always feel like you got to hold them. This one here is light. It doesn't feel like it's pulling your teeth out. That's why I like it. You'll have to go at uh, tobaccopipes.com website to take a look at this thing. It's kind of a, like a, it's a reddish brown, like a burnt, a burnt reddish brown. See that? I really like it a lot. And it's stamped. Well, you can't see that because it's backward. Rat trays. And it's not a ridic it's not like a ridiculous bend. So I this little thing on the end is called the button. Okay, keeps keeps the pipe from sliding out of your mouth. But it keeps it away from your chin and away from your beard. So it's not like the Peterson that I have. I don't think I have it out here, the Peterson. I do have a Peterson that is uh, literally a chin hanger. It literally comes, it's almost like a like a 90 degree angle. It comes right, right down my chin. And the bowl is like right here. And I don't like using it when I have a beard <laughs> or a bigger beard like this. If I have scruff, yeah, but uh, with a beard, because it's hard to light. It's hard to, it's hard. You know how some people will take a cigar Here's a cigar that I had the other day. We'll have a cigar, and they will light it like this first, okay? You can't really do that with a pipe. With a pipe, you really got to be puffing on it and drawing the flame into the bowl. So with the Peterson that I have, the bowl is like right here. And I just don't want my beard to go up in flames, man. I just... You know, and you guys who have beards, you know, you put on beard oil and beard balm to keep a nice groomed beard. Beard oil is also, and beard balm is also an accelerant, which means that if flame hits it, your face is going up in flames just like that. So one of the reasons why I like the rat trace pipe, oh, this is a rat trace tamper too, that I think is pretty cool. One of the reasons why I like it is it keeps the bowl, the flame, away from my beard. Watch. See? See how it's like away from my face? Get, get a better view here. It's 
So when I go to light it, the initial light, the char light, which takes a little bit longer, I'm not putting my beard at risk by having a flame near it. My opinion on Che Guevara. I don't have an opinion. Ah, uh, trolls are out. Hey, you know what they say, when you're taking flack, that means you're over the target, so... <laughs> Unique says, I should try stirring the coffee with a pipe using the vortex method. The only true way to optimize your coffee at the molecular level. That's true. Well, you know, one of the ways of of a of packing a pipe is, uh, what do they call it? The swirl method, where you take, uh, let me find a pipe that's not, doesn't have tobacco in it. Hold on. All right, so here's like this. Here's like a little Missouri meerschaum. What do they call this? The devil ants kind of thing with an acorn shaped bowl. You would take uh, tobacco, put it in your hand. You put the pipe over it and then go in a circle, go in a circle, and it literally packs the tobacco, kind of like in like a circular kind of a swirl inside the bowl. If you think about how the tobacco is going in the bowl. So that's kind of an interesting thing. So I guess that would be the vortex method of packing a pipe, right? For those of you that are just joining, you're wondering why is this guy wearing a nightcap? Well, tonight is dedicated to nightcap. I'm wearing a nightcap having a little nightcap of Zaya 16-year rum. It tastes like butter. It's magnificent. Here's a toast to you. And smoking nightcap in a rat race pipe. And tamping it with a rat race tamper. Now, those of you who've never seen tampers like this, all right, you realize there's a pick inside here, right? You know that, right? You've seen these. That's about the size of a dime. It's great for tamping the bigger bowls, but you screw this end off. Did you guys know this? And there's a pick to clean the pipe right there. Probably didn't know that, did you? Some of you did. Some of you old heads know that. That's kind of a cool little feature of the Rattray's tamper. I like it. It works for me. Let's see what other questions we have here. I could get a lot of views by setting my beard on fire. You're right, Ella, I could. As a matter of fact, oh, this is kind of funny. When I shaved my beard off, when I had the big beard, I remember it was uh, the next Halloween... I got the, this was on sale. This was a, like a big fake beard. And uh, I guess I could always put this back on and look like I did, you know, like way back when. And that's kind of like the old Sultan, but that's ridiculous. But this thing here, this would go up in flames in about half a second. And it's a good thing because I do have a fire extinguisher here. Can you expect any future cigar ASMR videos? Yes, as a matter of fact, Ken, I spoke with a, the owner of a cigar lounge tonight in the Philadelphia area, and I will be doing a live uh, uh, ASMR uh, type of video in the future, probably on a weekly basis from the cigar lounge. Yeah. Ah, Peter. Hello from Poland. Well, Peter, then, I guess 
today is Fat Thursday for you, isn't it? Right, Peter? What do you call it? The uh, punch key? Punch key. The donuts. Right? Because it's the end uh, of you eat as much as you can before you fast for Lent. Right? That's what Agnieszka told me today. So I got the full Puchki Fat Thursday uh, education this morning from Agnieszka, who told me all about Fat Thursday. And she knows that I'm very interested in uh, Christian traditions in different cultures. And so she had a had a donut at work today uh, where she works in Kiel's. Love from the UK. Love back to you from the United States. Thank you, sir. I tried stirring. Let's see. Poland in the house. It's hammer time. The hundred. I have a 104-year-old Dunhill. That's in the house. I don't keep it out here. Can you see? Can you see my breath? It's very cold in here right now. You know what? Uh, and I'm not going to turn on the heat because the little heater is very, very loud, or too loud. Harvey's like PA. Fantastic. That's fantastic. Thoughts on cannabis? Tried it. What wisdom do you have to impart? Cannabis is a uh, useful medicine. I I prefer to call it medicine for those that need it. I think um, I think it can be addictive as well. It can cause short-term memory loss in some people. I think it's um, better than alcohol. It's also illegal um, in much of the United States, but I have no problem if someone chooses to use it to relax, to go to sleep, for enhancing uh, musical pleasure, anything like that. So I am... Uh, I'm not I'm not opposed to medicine. Yeah. Storm Ghost says just finished smoking my favorite blend, Blood Red Moon, out of my Meerschaum Dragon Pipe. Fantastic. That's good. I do like the uh cult Blood Red Moon. White Knight from Home and Hearth, Gustavo says, nice smoke. I've seen that advertised. I might have to get some. I really, uh, I'm digging it. What should I look for in a pipe tobacco for a starter? Brother Mike, you probably want to start with uh, an aromatic, something similar to, uh, this is from, uh, this is from uh, tobaccopipes.com. And this is a Sutliff blend called, blend called Nougat. And it's kind of a vanilla and a caramel blend. It's not an offensive blend. It's not going to make you stinky. And nobody around you is going to be coughing. Everyone around you will say, wow, that smells really good. Now, the stuff that I'm smoking in here now, people are would be coughing and gagging. I don't think that non-pipe smokers would enjoy the smell of nightcap. I just don't think so. Something like nougat? Yes. But I would try that. I think you would really like that. Zero tongue bite. You're right. Start with a cob. Absolutely. Tim Huffman, man, you've been around a long time. You're one of the OGs. Happy pipe smoking to all. It is the 2020 IPSD brought to you tonight by tobaccopipes.com and Rattray's Pipes, which I have discovered now for about two years. Solid pipes. They are giving Savinelli's and Peterson's a run for their money. So I would suggest you go to tobaccopipes.com. Look, take a look at their Rattray's Pipes. It's R-A-T-T-R-A-Y-S. Rattray's Pipes. I think you'll like them. Hibiki 12 Whiskey is a good one. I never heard of that. Interesting. Piano Piper is with us from Maine tonight. You're a young writer, 20 years old, published my first book this June, a historical fiction set in Nazi Germany in 1944. 
excellent. When you publish that book, let me know. Send me a copy of it, and we'll do a review on it, and we'll get you your first sales. How's that sound good? Uh, let's see what else. Bobby Moog is with us. Where did I get the nightcap from? Which nightcap are you talking about? The one that I'm smoking? The one that I'm drinking? Or the one that's on my head? The one that's on my head I got from Amazon. And I started wearing nightcaps many years ago when it was really cold. Let me tell you why. I keep the heat down in my bedroom. <laughs> Actually, you can see the the... It's so cold out here that you can see my breath. See that? And I like sleeping in a cold room, but I don't want to be cold in my body. So I have a great comforter and blankets that I pull right up to my neck. And I don't mind if my face, this area is a little cooler. It's cool to the touch. The beard keeps the rest of my face warm, but my head stays warm with a nightcap on. It sounds weird, but you can get these on Amazon. It's just a cotton flannel traditional nightcap. It, it sounds like it's something from the turn of the 19th century, 20th century. Uh, but once you discover a nightcap, it's hard to go back. It really is in the wintertime. It's really difficult because I can turn the heat down. And in my in my bedroom, the let me put it this way, the house is warm, but the bedroom is very, very cool. And I sleep so good uh, with the cool air, much better than, uh, than if it's warm. What is my favorite Hemingway? Mine is the sun. Uh, also rises. <coughs> I am a, a big fan of The Old Man and the Sea. Yeah. I actually have the complete work. Uh, here we go. Whoa. Actually, with me tonight, I keep it out here because I love. it's the perfect book for, for reading if you're just having a little drink. Although it's reversed, you can't see that. This is the complete short stories of... Ernest Hemingway, and I really do enjoy reading Ernest Hemingway. I did tweet about him today. Oh, you know what? Today is Fat Thursday, and because it's Fat Thursday, guess what I got? I got a, uh, how do you say it? A punchki? So here's my punchki. This is to celebrate Fat Thursday for all my Polish friends, and a donut toast to Agnieszka. Here's a little toast. Ah, oh, so good. Can't believe I'm eating a donut this late at night. I'll be following it up with a with a pipe, with nougat from Sutliff. This is a jelly donut. They say, the on Fat Thursday, the donuts in Poland, they need to have the light stripe. The light stripe means that the oil that the donuts were cooked in was clean. If there's not the white stripe, that means they... The oil wasn't clean. Mm. Well, hello there, Steph and Skip. Good to see you guys. I'm glad you're joining me tonight. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying warm wherever you are. I know it's freezing out where I am, but I'm bundled up pretty well here tonight. Happy IPSD. Better 
to have IPSD than PTSD and nothing but sympathy and love and solid warm hugs to anyone who is suffering from PTSD, whether it be from military or trauma, anything like that. So anyone who's watching here tonight who has experienced or has suffered from PTSD, we stand with you. We stand with you, and I'm dead serious about that. Yeah. It's PTSD 2020. A check type tool from an antique show last week. Can't wait to try it out. Oh, wow, it's good. That's good. Brad Crosby is with us. Garrick says he's breaking out the amaretto to sip with the pipe. <laughs> Happy IPSD. I haven't had a donut in maybe three years. So this is my first this is my first donut in three years. And maybe I'll do it every year now for Fat Thursday. <laughs> Right? Who else is with us tonight? Will Baker. Good to see you. <laughs> VCR 12, you look like you look like your pure testosterone. <laughs> I'm acceptable levels of testosterone, not pure, but how can I how do they? Do it? I'm within normal limit limits for a man my age. Good, good to see you, Gatlin. Uh, is it Burlier Tobacconist, my favorite pipe shop in Gatlinburg, Tennessee? More power to you, absolutely. You have post traumatic force diversity syndrome, Jai White. I have no idea what that means. Yes, this is a uh, this is an oil lamp right here. Let me show you. Believe it or not, you're going to think this is crazy. Let me turn this down just a little bit. This oil lamp, the heat that is the heat that is rising out of the chimney, I don't know if you can see that. The heat is amazing in here. This literally this literally raises the temperature a couple degrees out here in the shed. It really does. It's magnificent. I just fill it up with uh, lamp oil, kerosene. It's a purified uh, kerosene. And uh, there's times where, like for instance, if I if I turn the if I turn the lamp out, the you know. Oh, that's kind of cool now, isn't it? Son of a gun. That makes kind of a, a there's a nice ambience there, isn't there? Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. But I, I hang it up over here. There we go. You can kind of see me. That's that's pretty cool. So maybe we'll keep it that way for now. There's 190 people on. You know, you got a lot of choices, and you could go to a lot of different channels, but you chose to come to this channel tonight for the 2020 IPSD, sponsored by TobaccoPipes.com and Rattray's Pipes. I am wearing a nightcap. I am having a drink, a little nightcap, and get. You know what's weird? I just had a donut, had a little sip of rum, and now a little bit of nightcap in the pipe. What a perfect combo. Holy cow. Yes. Yes. Honor him with that. Mark Hoffman. 
faithful follower. Hey, man, a toast to you. Absolutely. Thank you. I like having a beer and I like smoking a pipe. You know, I, I it's so funny. I had a friend in high school, Tony Vienna. I don't even know if he's still living. And I remember in art class, we took all the art classes and Tony would always say, he'd say, when I get older, he says, I want to, he says, I want to wear glasses, grow a beard and smoke a pipe. He used to say that. And that was like his, I, he like literally when, when he was like 16 years old, when he was older, he said, when I'm older, I want to wear glasses, grow a beard and smoke a pipe. Isn't that trippy? It's almost prophetic now, right? I remember, honest to God, we'd be at an assembly, like a sports game, basketball, and I, like a basketball game in the gym. He'd be across the way in the bleachers, across the way, and he would, he would actually gesture like he was smoking a pipe and stroking his beard. I'd be like looking through the crowd and I'd see him and he'd say, he'd get my attention. He would go, like that. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Tony Vienna. Mm. Tony, if you're watching, guess what I'm doing? I'm wearing glasses. I grew a beard and I'm smoking a pipe. So, Tony Vienna, wherever you are, this pipe is for you. At one point, I heard he wasn't doing too well. You're ordering a nightcap right now. You like to sleep in a cold room. Dude, I'm telling you. I mean, some people think it's weird. Can you imagine? I mean, you know, if you told me 10 years ago that I would be wearing a nightcap, I would say, and you're drunk and wearing glasses and growing a beard and smoking a pipe, I'd say you're crazy. I know I look like Scrooge with this. Jake Hackert Pipe with some Boswell's Northwoods. I like Northwoods, Daniel. Happy IPSD from the Poconos. Yeah, you're about two and a half hours away. Eric is in Austin. Greetings from central New York. Raise a glass, Tony. Tony Milkbones. I toast you as well, my friend. What's my opinion on Oscar Wilde? What, what did he say? What was his, uh, Jack Wallace, what was his comment on first marriage and second marriage. Find that and, and bring it back here. He 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 had a great a great quote about first and second marriages. Matches 860, I heard that he died of a coronary. That's what I heard. I don't know. <laughs> George, let me put it this way. I nonstop. And I wear a nightcap, glasses. I have a white beard and I smoke a pipe. So I don't know if it's like a father thing or what. I probably have more ladies pursuing me now than I ever did at any point in my life. But. Truth be told, full disclosure here, I'm happy with one. Ethan is a new member. Thank you, sir. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Loading nightcap up right now changed my mind, Zach said. Luke, good to see you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Stephanie, very soon we will fly out to see you and have you sculpt Skip's beard. Fantastic. It would be my pleasure to do so. I have people that come from, uh, how can I put it, um, eight countries and 28 states. I just had a guy up 
Uh, let me tell you where they come from most recently. South Carolina, Texas, and there was one more. Where did, where did he come from? Mm. Guy drove down from Vermont. So, yeah, 28 states and eight countries. Yeah. I actually did a wedding party of eight men did shaves and haircuts eight men that came from ireland that was kind of cool huh obviously the dude was marrying a uh, an american woman so he brought his whole family yeah i did a tribute video to uh, matches what can you say, man? It's the saddest thing in the world. I think he was uh, like four years older than me. And uh, I don't think he had a lot of gray hair. I mean, there's a man that still had dark hair at his age, which I think is amazing. So, but he will always be remembered. And uh, Rob G says, George, that podcast about cheating was deep. Great one. Yeah. Yeah, that was yesterday, and it was very difficult. How long will I grow the beard? This is it right here. I like my beard like this length, maybe just a little bit longer, but it's manageable this way for me. I don't get food in it. My coffee doesn't go through it. Captain Black is the drugstore fave. That's what Granddad smoked. It's what you smoke now, Matt Tonello says. Tim Hoffman says, in a little while, you will have forgotten everything. In a little while, everything will have forgotten you. That's deep, dude. For real. I sleep only in only a nightcap. Now, wait. I hope you have something on elsewhere. Storm Ghost. Opinion on the should I persist or am I beating a dead horse? Real talk. Uh, run. Beating a dead horse. You attract women. You don't chase women. And I say that very seriously. Listen to an old, gnarly old playboy like myself who's been around the block a few times. You attract women. You don't chase women. Simple as that. As I light my rat tray's pipe courtesy of TobaccoPipes.com. Tennessee is with us. Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Gearhead Ted, how long do you have to know a woman so you can trust her, or is it never 100%? Gearhead Ted, that's a, you know, that's a great question. I need to take another puff in order to answer. I would say uh, trust and trust but verify the famous Ronald Reagan line. Absolutely, trust but verify. Everyone is different. You have to take into consideration the age, their experience, your age, your experience. That's what I think. I have. Did I get my Friday Savinelli? I have a, where is it? I have a Savinelli. Where, I do have it here somewhere. This is my, this is my Savinelli 673 that I call the Sultanelli. And uh, it, it's one of the best pipes. I believe they have these at uh, tobaccopipes.com. But I do like my Savinelli 673. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's not a Friday Savinelli. It's my everyday Savinelli that I call the Sultanelli. Happy IPSD from Los Angeles. Smoking some virgin cherry in a design Berlin rustic Dublin. Fantastic, Jordan. It's so good to have you here. Thank you. You have a lot of choices, but you chose to be here tonight. That's cool. Balkan Sobrani to Nightcap. Fantastic.
Ethan says, hiya, funny thing, I was 15 and dreaming I was smoking a pipe. Now I'm 26 and I've been smoking a pipe for two years, though it was my father's idea. Yeah, I I, uh, I wanted to smoke a pipe since I was like a, a young teenager. I don't know why. Uh, I never smoked cigarettes ever. I've never inhaled anything into my lungs. So, and, and I'm not going to start now. But uh, I do like I do like pipe smoking. That's why we're doing the 2020 IPSD live broadcast tonight, courtesy of TobaccoPipes.com. Chris says, good afternoon, George. I have a long night ahead of me with some physics. But I drop by and say, howdy. Well, Chris, I'm glad you did stop by. It's fantastic. Have I ever tried McBaron plum cake? Yes, I have. I love it. I love it. Raise anything, water, milk, or whiskey. It's a thought that counts. Here's to you all. Thank you, Nick. I'll give I'll raise my little square shot glass to you and toast you. You know why I have a square shot glass, right? See the square shot glass? Because I put the corner in the middle of my mouth. And when I drink it, it doesn't go through my mustache. Whereas if I have a regular glass, the whatever I'm drinking goes through the mustache and I'm always wiping like coffee or whatever. So here we go. The square shot glass. And I've just put the corner. If you've been following me for a while, you know the significance of the square shot glass. Jack Wallace, he comes back with the Oscar Wilde quote, marriage is the triumph of imagination over intelligence. Second marriage is the triumph of hope over experience. Uh, one of your icons in writing and openness about my sexuality. You know, Oscar Wilde truly has some clever things to say. And uh, I think he's uh, an important voice in literature. And I think everybody should indulge in, in the, um, uh, the satire and the images that he uses. So I'm glad you're an Oscar Wilde fan. I am as well. <laughs> VCRs has probably got the moves. Just swing your hips. Oh, boy. Uh, Tampa, down in the house. Probably nice and warm down there, which near me. We're going to do, uh, yep. Donovan Sharp is on Gotta Go. I don't... Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, check out Donovan. Donovan's a friend of mine. He's a good guy. There is no waiting list. I do not I do not have that kind of list. If somebody wanted to go into the chill chair, you just call the salon where I work. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> Matt says the Sultan wears a nightcap. I'm pouring a nightcap. Mr. Pipestash says, I just had some Boswell's Northwoods today in a Cobb mod I made. I had to think of you. You've had that blend. Yes, I have. I'm trying to think who shared that with me. It was um, Mike Rizzo. Um. I think Mike Rizzo got me a little bag of uh, Northwoods from Boswell's. Mike Rizzo also, I don't know if he's watching tonight. He also, do I have it with me? He um, he also gifted me this, I don't know, like three years ago. A, um, uh, it's a country gentleman with a, with a custom stem. Isn't that nice? It's cool. So yes, I have I have tried Boswell's um, Northwoods. Do I like mutton chop piper? I do. You know what? <clears throat> Let me put it this way: There's not a piper on YouTube that I don't like. I like everybody on YouTube, and um, not everybody likes me, <laughs> and that's okay because I do have uh, some extremes in my language and that's not always popular with people yeah, but that's okay 
That's all right. To each his own. That's why there's what? So many different flavors of ice cream. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but that's okay. Where did I come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe, Batman Bears. Oh, we got a bear in the house tonight. Any other bears around? Does George have a girlfriend now or something? Primal Man asks. Yes. Yes. George does have a girlfriend. Piano Piper start just starting to sell her. Batman Bear says, I'm a generous man, but my mustache is greedy. That's a good one. Greg's Garage says, my two-year-old and five-year-old are going to say things like, I'm four miles outside of Philadelphia. <laughs> so I don't know if I had the coronavirus and, and just it ran its course, but I was down for about two weeks in January. I got behind in work. I had, I lost days at work. I uh, lost some contracts with some work. It, it was rough. And it took me a total of three weeks to just feel normal again. I didn't work out for a good two weeks. I didn't even go to the gym for two weeks, obviously. And I think I got it at the gym. So my brother, Tony, T21 Surfer, just did a video. You want to check out his channel. Uh, he just did a, a video uh, yesterday on the coronavirus. You want to check that out? Or was it today? I forget. Today or, or yesterday? But you want to check out T21 Surfer. Just had <clears throat> me too for IPSD. Cheers. Ah, yeah. I like uh, Old Dark Fired. It's wonderful. Phil B says never chase. Only a few know what that means. Hey, for those that have just joined, Pipecast brought to you by TobaccoPipes.com. And we are featuring tonight Rattray's Pipes. They have Rattray's Pipes. You probably never heard of them. You might have, but they're giving all the big names a run for their money. I believe everybody needs to have a couple Rattray's Pipes in their collection. You will not be disappointed. TobaccoPipes.com. How does a boy <clears throat> get out of that friend zone? Don't get in it. The best way to get out of it is to never get in it. Miami in the house. It's awesome. Did I get explosive diarrhea on the carnivore diet early on? Nope, not at all. Not at all. Uh, Piano Piper says, I want to get a Savinelli Bing's favorite. I don't have one of those, although I have a... It's funny that you say that because um, ND Pipes asked me, he makes pipes <clears throat> in Europe, and he wanted to know what kind of pipe I want. And I said something like a, like a Bing's favorite, and he made me one like this. It's as thin as a pencil. This is a... I think the Bing's favorite, too. I believe you can also get them at uh, TobaccoPipes.com. I'm pretty sure. Is my Saltinelli filtered? You can put filters in it. I don't. I don't. It's funny, but I switched the cigars to help my lungs. I don't know how that helps your lungs. How does that help your lungs? Honestly, that's an honest question. I have no idea. Having a late cup of coffee and watching the Sultan stirring with my chopsticks, of course. Of course. Peterson plug tonight. Dylan is having a Peterson plug. Yeah. Not the smoke, Mr. Pipestash. It is actually very, very cold here. Matches will be missed, Gilbert. That is true. Know of a good tobacco blend that has a fresh baked cookies room note. Yes, I do. Uh, who's asking that question? That's uh, Tony. You want to get Sutliff Nougat. N N O U G A T, and you get that from TobaccoPipes.com. <clears throat> it will give you a fresh baked cookies vibe. 
The room note is magnificent. You'll love it. Please get back to me after you purchase that from tobaccopipes.com and let me know. Okay. Originally, dude, you'll never get used to the cold. It's just something that you can't get used to. Hey, well, thank you, everybody, for being with me tonight. I was smoking nightcap while drinking a nightcap while wearing a nightcap. Tonight's 2020 IPSD. We do this once a year. It's sponsored by TobaccoPipes.com. Check them out. Especially check out Rat Trays Pipes. I have learned to love these pipes. I have two of them. And I have everything. I have the Savinelli's. I have the Peterson's. I have Missouri Meerschaum. I have a bunch of customs, which I love all of them. But tonight, here we go. The Rat Trays Pipes. Only available at TobaccoPipes.com. Hey, you had a lot of choices tonight, but you chose to hang in there with me. And uh, this video will be up forever now. After I end it, you can all read the chat, which will be here forever. And it's about the right time for a full, full pipe smoking session. And I'm glad you joined me tonight. So thank you so much. Make sure to check out TobaccoPipes.com, our sponsor for tonight, and Rattray's Pipes. And I'll see you tomorrow morning on this channel for the Daybreak Show, the home 